Greetings, welcome to Growth Hacking Show, where we have founders, CEOs, smart business coaches, consultants, and who help you to avoid mistakes, to grow your business, and help you to leverage their smart secret success to, so that way you can grow your business for your prosperity and your future. In case you don't know me, my name is Mohammed Siddiq. I'm the host of Growth Hacking Show from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm also the co-author of New Success Secrets, available on Amazon. On this episode, I have a very special guest from London, UK, and she is a smart business coach, help other business, small business owners, the medium size business, size business owners to grow your business smartly, not working hard only because working hard is not enough. You have to work hard and smart at the same time. She's also an Amazon best-selling author. And also, best of all, she's also a host on a TV, on a very popular TV show, and, and she's going to tell us all about that one. She is actually on a mission to empower as many as businesses on a growth high, high profit mode. So please join me to give a warm welcome to Ozana Juska. Ozana, welcome. Hello. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased to be with you right now. Wonderful. Ozana, let me start with this. Where were you? What happened? Who you were surrounded with that inspired you to get into a, this coaching and helping others? Um, my father has always been my role model and uh, I wanted to show him that I can do better than him because he was a successful entrepreneur himself and also he was a, a shooting European champion. And that's how I worked hard my whole life because I wanted to impress him. And uh, I had a successful consulting company up until uh, 2008 when the crisis really hit me because we were doing a lot of uh, fundraising and selling companies, advising on buying companies, and the banks just stopped everything. And that's where really my learning journey has started. And I remember me having, having been forced to go back to Romania and having been forced to ask my father to, uh, to, to feed me because I had no money. I had to downsize my company from 12 consultants to only two and I could hardly pay anything really. And uh, my wake up call was an email which invited me to an event in London, which I had to pay with my credit card and borrow money to be able to go there and attend. And from that one, I went to Business Mastery with Tony Robbins, which I can see you have right now on the, on the uh, screen. And uh, at Business Mastery, I realized that with my MBA, with my investment banking background, with my father entrepreneur, having been an entrepreneur myself for many years, I only knew like maybe just 5% of what I needed to know to be successful in business today. And that's when I realized that, hey, there is way more that these small companies need to, to know. And that's how the new journey for me started. And I've created a, a platform with Business Growth Tools, which I couldn't sell for three years um, online. And I tried every single tactic you can imagine. And um, yeah. After three years of, uh, of trial and error and uh, learning 10,000 times of uh, uh, not working, I finally cracked it. And, uh, and now we, I'm happy that uh, our system is used by many entrepreneurs around the world. Wonderful. Amazing. Well, Anna, how you end up in working with this big guy, Tony Robin? That's a, such an amazing, uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, we are his representative for Romania because uh, we just know how to market and how to promote and how to organize events and how to combine online and offline, which is one of the strategies I want to talk about today. Wonderful, wonderful. So before you talk about your success strategies, I have a question to ask. What are the top three missteps to avoid so the people should not do it when it happens to grow, grow your business? Uh, the, the first one for me was tactics without strategy. And what I mean by that is that because I was so eager to sell online, every time I would hear someone doing something wonderful with whatever strategy, being Facebook ads or Facebook groups or uh, LinkedIn or blogging or you name it, I tried to, to do exactly the same thing and it didn't work. And the reason why any of these small strategies, be it uh, social media or SEO or just website or whatever you're thinking of this level, the reason why they don't work is because there is no strategy on top to connect all the dots. 
that was one of the biggest mistakes that I've done because I was basically trying to build like a vase with bits and pieces from everyone instead of building myself as a huge, as a one thing and then applying all these tactics. Without a, with tactics without a strategy, there's a big mistake. What's the second yeah. and third one? Uh, the second one is lack of convergency. And uh, that might be a big term or unknown term for some people. And what I mean is really mismatches in between what you do. So having the wrong product or the wrong business model or the wrong target or the wrong pricing or the wrong positioning, the wrong message, the wrong communication channel, the wrong something. And it's enough to have one of these uh, items wrong and then nothing works or, or you just work 10 times harder to achieve the same results. And um, the third one was going ahead with the company logo, which we've done quite nicely and we were very proud of the uh, two years website, which looked really, really amazing and professional. But it was, um, um, it was kind of dry. It didn't have personality, it didn't have life. And when I remember one guy sent me an email, um, it was two years down the line in, in those three years of not selling anything. And he said to me, I don't buy from this. And he sent me the, the link to, to the platform, but I buy from this. And he sent me the link to uh, my LinkedIn profile. And I'm like, really, me? You'd buy from me, but you wouldn't buy from the platform? And that's exactly what they meant. It took me six, six months to understand that that people buy from people. There is no more B2B or B2C. People want to connect with the person and they need to see the person behind the business. They need to, to feel emotions and they need to connect with the, with the human side. And uh, that was, uh, uh, of course, lacking in my business during those three years. And that's why I couldn't sell. That's another reason why I couldn't sell anything for those three years. Amazing. Thank you so much for being a vulnerable and sharing it. What has really happened? It's not a B2C. It's not a B2B. It's a P2P, person to person. So you have to be authentic and you have to build your brand with the brand until they know you, trust you, like you, know, like and trust. And nothing, people will not buy from you because every business is run by people and is business is as good as the people are running that one anyway. Is it right? Yes, absolutely right. 100%. Thank you so much. So, you said that you are very good in marketing and every business need to be, in fact, every business is a marketing business. If they, until they are good in marketing, they, can, they won't be attracting the, their customers to them. Guess what's going to happen? They are not going to sell enough and if they don't sell enough, they won't hire enough people and they can't run the, this oil machine. So you have to attract new customers. So what are your top three success secrets to grow your business that help you to attract people like Tony Robbins and success resources? They are the world probably number one in what they do. Before I answer this question, I just want to make one remark. Absolutely. Uh, my background is in finance and I, I was forced to learn marketing because after I paid so much money to experts in marketing and to whatever others in courses and training programs and I didn't get results, I had no choice but to learn it myself. And that's how I became very good because I was forced, not because I wanted. <laughs> we probably have a similar background. I, 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 had, I had repeated the same thing in early 2002. So, you know. So you open. understand what I mean, that you, yeah. you have to learn this because otherwise it's like now I feel like I'm a, a, the conductor of an orchestra. And yeah, that's it. I that's it. understand everything, I can get the best out of every person. But if you, if you don't get to that level where you understand everything, you can't get the best of every person. Wonderful. So what are your top three success secrets? Please give it away so that way they can duplicate. Okay, what? number one is communicate one to many, leveraging online and offline. What do I mean by this? So this is what we're doing right now, is communicating one to many. So even though I'm only talking to you, I know that this show is being exposed to other hundreds and thousands of entrepreneurs around the world. And this is how, by me investing this half an hour of my time with you, I get to communicate with many potential clients around the world. And this is one way of communicating one to many. So instead of, instead of having meetings one to one, which lead to nowhere really, 
these days because people need like many interactions. Statistics says 16 interactions to get to, to buy from you. Um, you can't have 16 meetings, but you can have 16 of such videos or posts or other, other ways of communicating and expressing yourself in a one-to-many uh, way. And that is done only via online marketing and events. So online marketing is what we're doing. It's a, a video on YouTube. It's a live on Facebook, on your own Facebook, uh, or a, a video on uh, LinkedIn, or it's a blog post, it's an email, anything that doesn't require much time to, to do, but it can, has, it can have a huge impact. And the other one is events, because in an event, you again talk within an hour or two or three or whatever the, the time of the event with many people, which is your audience and you ex express yourself, you share your values, your beliefs, and your message with so many people, and then they come, whichever is right for your business will be attracted by, by your talk and will come to you. So these are the, this is the, the main thing for me, because it saves me a lot of time, and it, it, it transforms my business into really having a scalable business, which doesn't uh, require a lot of resources to acquire many more clients. Uh, number two is to position yourself and or the company as the expert in your field. And it took me a while to understand and to accept that I am an expert, business expert in my field. I just uh, saw myself as a consultant, but there are so many other consultants. And uh, I realized that, hey, with 20 years of entrepreneurial experience, I am an expert in business. And uh, having been through my mistakes, my learnings, my, my journey, I've accumulated a lot of uh, strategies that work, some that don't work. And uh, that qualifies me to, to be an expert in my field. But that is exactly the same for everyone, regardless of what business they are in. If you make shoes or if you, make, uh, uh, if you sell flowers or whatever it is, um, or B2B uh, proper large scheme investments, whatever it is, you are an expert in your field. And you've got to understand and accept this and then talk about it in public in a way that we are doing right now. And uh, when you position yourself as the expert, then people come to you, again, because they are attracted by the knowledge that you share, which you know anyway, and also by your values and beliefs. And um, of course, this is all about sharing and giving and educating your market. Um, it's really called goodwill marketing or educational marketing. And it's, it's amazing. When you do it right, you get the rewards. And uh, the third one for me was to share my personal story because people really connect with you when they feel your pain, when they identify with the challenges that you've been through. And then it's way easier to do business with, with people that you connect with. So once I accepted that I need to share my failures, not just my, my uh, big wins, uh, then, and I published my uh, story as, uh, as you can see on the screen, then uh, again, that was a, a big jump for, uh, for my business and I've attracted more of the right clients which connect with me based on who I am. And just to summarize these, I believe that in today's world, the business is not just a business to make money and help clients or, or serve others, it's really to express yourself. It's your way of expressing yourself into the world. And when you do that, everything is aligned, everything is connected, and the profits come just as a consequence, naturally and easily. Wonderful. You know, my light bulb went on when you said, you know, your profits have gone up, your business has grown, that's the success secret when you shared your story. And I do 100% agree with that one, however, Many people who are watching this right now, they say, oh, my story is so boring and I don't want to be vulnerable. You, you know what I'm talking about? They, 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 everyone has a story. However, they don't know how to say it. Uh, they don't think so. Oh, I will be vulnerable. Then, you know, I have something in my life I don't want to share with anyone. It's so private or something. There's a big transformation from someone who is holding on the story inside of them or within their close circle network and not sharing with their customers. How, how to make this big transformation from not sharing it and making a sharing and then people start trusting you more and connecting with you from the right angle? The reason why people stories are boring is because they are narrated as a CV. I've done this, I've done that, and this happened, and this happened, blah, 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 and you fall asleep. 
But when you plan your story, when you build your story based on, on the life experiences that you've been through to, to go like a roller coaster, and it's really it, Hollywood movies I, are, are made using the exact same system that I use to build stories for my clients. And it's about, okay, life is normal. Then something happens and you're in big shit and you start challenging things. Uh, sorry, you start searching and then you get out. But hey, that thing that you solution that you thought it was right, it's actually not the right solution. And you go back down deeper this time, even worse. And then you struggle again, you look again, you change your, your beliefs, you change something around yourself, you transform yourself. And then you come up with the right you and the right solution, which of course you want to give to others. It's a beautiful way of doing it. And of course, when you live it, like for example, in my story, one key moment was when I took a picture of my son, Sebastian. And I remember we were in, uh, in Brussels and uh, after two years of struggling with my business, I, um, my partner was like, okay, when are you bringing money? When are you bringing money? When are you bringing money? And eventually we split up. So I was in this, the, for the second time in my life in the position where I had to go back to my father and ask for food and for help again. But this time was my two year old son. And, um, I took, um, well, I decided eventually to apply for, the, uh, for a job because that's what everybody told me. You're not good enough as an entrepreneur. Just get a job. Don't you see that you're, you can't do anything? And uh, because we're in Brussels and because the commun European Commission is the one well, taking the lo losers, I applied for a job in the European Commission. And uh, um, after that week, at the end of the week, it was a beautiful spring uh, day. I took my son to the botanical garden in Brussels. And there is this picture that I took, which I share on my screen when I share my story. And uh, when I looked into Sebastian's, my son's eyes, so innocent, little boy, beautiful sunshine outside. And uh, that picture, that moment was the moment of no return for me. I borrowed more money and I went ahead more because that's when I realized that I can disappoint my father. I can disappoint myself but I'm not allowed to disappoint him. I don't want to be just a mother working only to provide food and, and accommodation for my son. I want my son to be able to become a proper successful entrepreneur and, and grow and evolve, go to the best school in the world, have the best everything in the world. And that gave me the power to borrow more money and to continue. So what I just showed you now, it's a little bit of my story where I, it's my emotions. I've lived that thing. I know how it feels. And uh, that's when people connect with me because, hey, if you have children, you want the great things for your children. You want to be great mo a great role model for your children. You want to offer the best of th that you can. And that is inspiring for people to take action and just never give up and carry on because there is greatness in every single one of us. So when you when you look for moments like this and when you package them together nicely and you remove all the fluff, that's the hardest part from the story to remove all the fluffs because people are like, Oh, this happened, this happened, this happened. And that's so boring. But when you just get the key moments and that's what I do, I have a bootcamp where we construct the, the, the story with my clients and they list all the challenges. And then I pick this one, this one, this one, and then we put them together like in a roller coaster and that's the story. And then at the end of the story, there is a moral, there is a message that you, you, you transmit. And the point of this story is not for you to share the story. It's for your audience to relive their own story because that's how they connect with your emotions and that's how they don't have their own they have their own experiences not yours but when you talk about your experiences they think of theirs and they live the emotions that you feel in their own way does it make well, sense definitely it makes sense thank you so much for giving the structure of a story so i, I was you know i'm sure the people who are watching this they were watching it very carefully I, w I want you to pause it again and go back and watch for the last few minutes again, just to make sure you get it. You know, that's very critical. So, Ozana, how are you growing your business right now? Um, right now, we are develop we've developed this concept of a smart business, 
which is a business with very, very clear vision. So you know exactly where you want to get to, but with a flexible approach because the economy is like upside down and, and it's all over the place and things happen. So you have to be flexible because things are changing so fast. And then it's also a business that is uh, strategically thought to generate business online because that's how you can scale and grow super fast. And it's also a business that is connected with yourself, that is, is carefully thought so you make an impact and you express yourself. And when you have these characteristics, then everything else falls into place. And then the profits come, as I said, as a consequence of the right things that you do. And uh, my, what I'm doing right now is to share this, this system that I've created to develop smart businesses um, in different ways. And one is through uh, events and through online marketing. Uh, the other way is through DIY products, so tools and, and uh, things which are very cost effective to go yeah. for the do, do it, the... DIY mean do it yourself, is that right? Oh. So you, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Do it yourself, yeah. So it's basically guides and uh, uh, checklists and master classes and, and uh, things that you purchase off the shelf and then you follow the, the, the steps there and, and you do it yourself and it's very cost effective. Then we've got the, the boot camps, which we work together. So for example, building a story is one of the boot camps, but we have loads of others on different other topics like building a sales funnel online or system to generate business online, business, uh, another one on, on generating business through events and so on. And, uh, and then it's also offering services to the people who can um, afford and want to grow really fast and are already at a certain level. So we are um, expanding and growing, going through uh, the small business owners, the, the people at the startup stage, uh, through the middle stage, through the, the people who have already got a name and a position and they just want to break through and, and uh, get more and bigger businesses. So you have a three model, do it yourself, done with you, that's like a boot camp and also you yeah, are done for you, DFY, you know, basically on the higher level, highest exactly. level. Yes, okay. yes. Wonderful, and, thank uh, you. And another thing which uh, I think is very useful for the people listening, is because whenever I share it with my clients, they go, oh, really? That's such a great idea. Um, whenever we discover something and we, um, we figure something out, we put it into a checklist, into a video training, into something that is recorded, is there. And then when somebody else joins the, the team, we don't have to explain things again. We just give the video or the audio uh, to listen to or to, to watch, and then they are trained. So this way we are super efficient when uh, we need to get more new people on board. Yeah, and nothing missed. Basically, new hire, just ask them to watch all the videos. They will get up to speed very quickly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah so you. we don't have to waste time in, in training uh, uh, new people on, on skills and explaining things. Yes, definitely. So, Ozana, as you mentioned, a smart business, a different economy and roller coaster. Basically, running a business is a roller coaster. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. Here is my question. When business is down, what keeps you going in a down moment? My vision. I want to empower 1 million entrepreneurs and small businesses around the world to change the world, to make the world a better place whilst they achieve their own objectives. Wonderful. And that, that gives me the energy because I know that I'm part of the, of, of the changers in the world. And that gives me the energy to, to do whatever and to go over any, any challenge that I have myself. Thank you, thank you. So having a clear vision is very important. That's the lesson basically. So how the Growth Hacking Show community, people who are watching this right now, how they can support you? Well, just come to our events, use our tools and uh, ask us to, to help you with our services. We have a, a big team of people that can really, really give you visibility and, uh, and uh, help you grow your, your company, especially using uh, digital strategies and digital marketing. Wonderful. Go ahead and connect with Ozana and also on LinkedIn and you also see her you know, website as well. Connect on LinkedIn and start the conversations. No like and trust. I'm sure she has a lot more beyond this uh, interview where she can actually share and help you to grow your business. So Ozana, as we are about to wrap up, what would you say as a final word? Well, I believe that uh, small businesses are the ones changing the world and making the world a better place. So I invite everyone uh, watching this show to contribute towards uh, making the world a better place 
for us, for our uh, friends, for our families, for our clients, for our teams, for our partners, for our communities and the world. Thank you so much, Rosanna, for sharing your wisdom with us today on the behalf of Growth Hacking Show community and our entire team. We really appreciate you. This is Mohammed Siddiq signing off from Atlanta, Georgia, wishing you good luck, good sales. I do hope our path across again with another amazing guest. Until then, all best wishes.